Hello everyone, it's me. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> Hello everyone, it's me, Broken Satin. Welcome to, well, the next episode of the broadcast. Everyone's favorite Tokusatsu podcast when I'm your host, Bokusatsu. Talk about things I like and don't like about, well, Toku or non-Toku. And today, oh boy, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hurt a lot of people feeling and, and get them triggered, but today we're going to talk about why I do not like Comrade X8, and oh boy, let me go get my notes ready, because we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> it might me a lot, and be like, we have a lot of stuff to talk about <laughs> for X8. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I have a lot of stuff rolled down here, okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I guess we'll go on and talk about the characters first because, yeah, okay. Uh, characters. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. But yeah, characters. Emu. What do I feel about Emu? I'm going to say this. I don't like Emu. Here's why I say this. He. <sighs> I don't think Emu was. A good protagonist, you can say? I mean, granted, he had his moments, yes, but Emu just didn't click with me. He got on my nerves. He was stubborn and an idiot, too, but still, we're going to that. I'll talk about, I'll talk about, we're going, I'll talk about our freaking, uh, Brave, about why Emu's an idiot soon, but, uh, I want to say this. <sighs> I like the writing. He, I like the writing that. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is this is this is gonna sound pretty weird for me saying. Sorry, I'm stuttering, but uh, hold on. Okay, I like the writing that. I like the idea when Emu had two personality. That's I like that. I like that, but, <clears throat> but. Oh no, man. Emu, Emu, well, his second personality is, well, boring. You can say. And, well, yeah, no, ha ha. Okay, he's a clutch. Okay, he's clumsy. I get that. Not the first time we had a common writer or a token character that is clumsy. If you know, you know who I'm talking about. Simple as that. So on, uh, so back on as I was saying, I remember uh, talking. I remember saying this on the One Ring podcast with All Saying Knox. By the way, check that, check out the episode with I'm the I'm the guest. By the way, we talk about X Aid and why uh, <laughs> and why All Say did not like X Aid. But uh, I brought up an interesting point in that episode. How that move reminds me of Sento, but it's just like he ain't at the same level as Sento. Seen it here, yeah. I still see it. He reminds me. Of, Emma reminds me of Sento. Just before Sento was a before Sento was a thing, Emma was basically the well. <laughs> oh my God! I can't even say that. Well, <clears throat> can I say that he was? Can I say that he was basically? Uh, he was basically Sento before Sento was a thing in build. He was he was basically the prototype version of Sento. I'm what, what I'm trying to uh, say here. Yeah, I mean I like Emu, but at the same time, yeah, he got my nerve. I just wanted him to shut up because he was a freaking idiot. My God. You had no idea how annoying he got on my nerve, but but that's he had no idea. <laughs> so let's talk about Brave because oh boy, I got I got something to say about Brave. All right, I'm gonna say this: Brave isn't the worst character in X A. Oh God, no, he isn't. He's not my favorite. First time watching X A, I didn't like Hero. Hero got on my nerves. He was well cocky, st arrogant, 
also a hypocrite, but I'll get on I'll get on to that soon. He told Emu not to get emotional for patience, right? Okay, he says that. But I'm like but at the same time, when Emu called him out on Bullcrap, I said, wait a minute, so I can't get emotional for I, I can't get emotional about my patience, but yet you can get emotional for your dead girlfriend who was also your patient who also Tiger's patient one time. And he did not like that. I'm like, bro, how can you how can you tell him not get emotional about his patient, but yet your girlfriend was in the same freaking hospital? Yeah, she was a patient as well. Dude, really? Just just really? You can't tell Emu not get emotional about his patient, but yet you did you did the exact same thing. Just saying. Just saying. And I don't care, I don't care, and I'm going to say, but as the athlete, you know, that one's just patient. <laughs> Do I care? You really think I care? Because, no, I freaking don't. And also, <sighs> I'll be honest with you, Hill's betrayal, Hill's betrayal arc, betray arc, was garbage. Like, be honest with you, that, that white, that, <sighs> Frank, how can I say that, okay. That wasn't needed, to be honest with you. It wasn't. You are Takahashi. No offense, my guy. Uh, there's no point of there's no point of writing in the betrayal arc for a hero. Now for freaking uh, Kiryu. Yeah, I can see that. I can see him. Cause I like, cause I like Lasha. I like Kiryu. But like for a freaking uh, hero. Yeah, it was kind of pointless though. Like. There's no reason for them to add it. Again, then I'm not Yuya Takahashi, and this let me and this actually came out like when the exit came out like what 2016, yeah I think 2016 came out but yeah, don't know what don't know what's going on in Japan all that time, <laughs> but again then, again then Key Ranger was happening as well, and I will and I will talk about Key Ranger on this podcast one day. Do not worry. <laughs> That's on the list of Toku shows to review and watch. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, Hero. I'm not gonna talk about Hero, but like, Hero reminds me of. Okay, I was watching a podcast last last night, and someone, and someone brought this, and someone said this. He, someone said uh, he reminds them. Uh, he reminds them of Knight from Yuki, and yeah, I can totally see it. Both secondaries are both secondary are well asses, well jerks to the to the primary for 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 for, for multiple reason, but yeah, at the same time, uh, Ren and Hero have one thing in common. They both have missing girlfriends. <laughs> well, one's dead, and the other one, and the other one is in a coma due to, due to his contract monster, uh, frightening her, almost killing her. But still, yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty much, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much what y'all gonna get from me when I talk about Yuki. So yeah, so yeah, but I say, hero. Uh, I don't hate him. No, I very can't do it. I got my nerves. But I will say this. I did like the relationship between him and Snipe because he blamed he blamed my boy Tiger for what happened to Saki. When yet he said himself in the show that it wasn't it wasn't the unlicensed doctor's fault for Saki for getting killed. It was my fault. I'm like, damn hero. You blame yourself, not the doc, not uh, not Taiga. <laughs> For some reason, Taiga and Snipe work perfectly together as a, as a duo, and I don't know why. I can't explain it, but but it, but somehow they work perfectly for it. Oh man, <laughs> he first time he saw first time he saw uh Snipe, he got mad and said, "I'm taking away your guest chef." Unless you're talking like, like, hold up. Dude, you're not taking away my boy's unlicensed gas yet. Like, 
Gasha. His Gasha and his probably pro guys key. No, it ain't zero one. His friend, <laughs> driver. That drive by the way. I wanna say it. I wanna say this. I wanna say this. That driver is ugly as hell. Excuse my language. But But that driver is the ugliest driver I've ever seen in Common Rider. That coming for me. And we have Ray Vice's driver. Ray Vice's driver is ugly. Just wanna FYI that for a second. <laughs> that driver is ugly. Ugh. <laughs> so uh, back on the saying. Yeah, I did enjoy the relationship that Snipe and uh Brave had. It was cool. They would have, they would have a lot. Of, they had like a lot of tension. And I do want to say this. I'm going to talk about Snipe a lot because I guess I guess I need to say right now about him. So let's go on to Snipe. Tiger. Uh, all right. I'm going to drop a little bit of a hot take. I'm going to drop a little bit of a hot take here. <clears throat> I think the main character of X8 is an Emu. It's Palado, but also it's Taiga. Mostly Taiga in Palado. Because after Kiyu died, the show pretty much focused on the show pretty much focused on my boy Taiga and him. And him doing his own investigation about what the heck is X A, and he, and he found himself like, okay, I see what my boy is doing. He's awesome though. Also, uh, Tiger. Also, Tiger. Also, Tiger's like one of my favorite characters in the show. So there's also a little bit of a bias there coming from me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <clears throat> Tiger. Tiger like Tiger's character X A. He blamed himself for what the heck happened six years ago, when uh Zero Day happened. Oh, you know Y two K. I'll get on that later when I talk about the plot. So, I want so I want to talk about my notes for a second. I want to say this. One of the pros I have. And one of the pros I have for uh, X8 is, is the relationship that Tiger has with Brave and Nico. And I was like, I want to say that, yeah, the relationship that he had with both of them is really good. And Nico also grew on me as a character on my, third, on my second rewatch. The first time watching the show. Yeah, I didn't like Nico. She got on my nerves. But yeah, she grew on me on my second rewatch last year. And now are we now on my third rewatch. Yeah, I still like her. <laughs> she's annoying. Her actress is cute. Wanna clarify that? Her actress is her actress is in her twenties. So please do not try to take it out of context. Like, no, no, it's out of context. No. Her actress is in her twenties. And to prove my point, when the uh V cinemas were happening when the uh, Brave and Snipe V cinema was happening in Japan. Her actress comment said that Nico is around her. Nico is around the age of twenty in this movie, so please do not try to take that out of context. Because trust me, we are not need creepy people, freaking. Stalking, well, a 17-year-old Asian girl on a brand new Japanese kid show. You know who you are. It's, you're, you're disgusting. Just want to say that. Don't do pedophilia, pretty much, I'm trying to say. Toku Trader. So anyway, back on saying. And so yeah, part of the relationship with Brave and Nico was really good. I like it. Not Palado, me. Freak, not Palado. <laughs> Snipe. My bad. Snipe. I'm so, I'm so stupid. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, uh, Snipe Relationship. Snipe, Snipe, Snipe Relationship is really good in the show, and I love it. Also, I love the fact how you have to watch the whole show. He, okay, I'll be honest with you. The first couple of episodes, the first chapter of X A were boring as hell. And I'll and I'll say that much. Excuse my language by the way, I'll keep it down. But the first couple episodes of chapter one of the chapter one, of the first arc slash chapter of X A are boring and I wanted to fall asleep because my god. When Tiger appeared, the show became more interesting to me. And I like that about him. He pretty much just said, hey, uh, your personality changed when you play games, right? And he was like, yeah, what about it? P P Freaking Sniper, like, oh, that's good, because I'm going to beat you and that doctor right there who hates my guts. <laughs> and I love the fact how, yeah, he said F you to Bray <laughs> pretty much. I said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You're gonna blame me for what happened to your dead girlfriend. It's not like oh, it's not like oh, I put that blame on myself. <laughs> oh man, I freaking love, I freaking love Snipe. <laughs> Still Snipe, my favorite character. I I I had I had like no hate for for Snipe, no hate for the guy. I like him. <laughs> and also, his also if you watch Dog Ginger High School. His actor's in there. Just want to just want to say that because he's like in what episode one of Dog Gingers? I think episode one. Yeah, episode one or two. But yeah, uh, he's in the show. So if you want, if you want to know what his character, he's basically a bully in the show who wears all black, pretty much spiky hair, and and some some kind of weird shades. You'll find him. You we, we recognize it. We recognize his face. So yeah. By the way, sorry if I'm stuttering. I'm talking really fast because well, it's almost like eleven at night and uh <laughs> and uh yeah. I have, I have like I have no excuse. I just want to say that it's almost eleven at night, so I want to get this episode out as fast as possible. So yeah. So, uh, simp so yeah, so yeah, Snipe, my favorite character in the show. Oh, he's awesome. <laughs> so, who's next? Let's talk about Kiryu. Probably the, probably the main, probably the, probably one of the main protagonists in the show because, god damn, this guy is awesome. <laughs> I love his actor though, but Kiryu, but like, but like, Kiryu is a character, Kiryu is a character. I freaking like this guy. First time I watched the X A, he got on my nerves. But yeah, but yeah, around, but yeah, around the second half in my second and third rewatch, the second rewatch last year, I like him. He, and I also I know that him and I know I know that oh ooh, my desk my bad. I know that uh I know that uh, Kiryu and I know that Kiryu is a fan favorite. Sorry, I know that Kiryu is a fan favorite like Dan Kuroto. But I'll be honest with you, that Christmas episode, let's talk about it. Probably the worst episode of the show. Worst episode of the show. I think I said it two times, but uh, yeah. I do not like the episode because I want to say this. Uh, Toei, Bandai, what was the point of making the shirt after Kujo died? Like, for those who don't know what happened, after the Christmas episode, uh... Parents complained to Toei, and what did Toei do in response? On the official Comrade XA Twitter, they they released and announced around when the when that around when that episode came out, a I think what premium Bandai a premium Bandai shirt of last year say game over. I think it was. And uh just wanna say that. Toei, that was that was bad. <laughs> that was so bad. Like the the last time like the same freaking energy I got from that what what same energy that will happen in Saber when freaking uh when freaking Jin, aka Falcon, pretty much 
pretty much made Yuri sacrifice himself to get let's well get kidnapped by Smoke Girl. If you watch Saber, you know what I'm talking about. And well, and when uh, and when Yuri got killed, Yuri was killed. Guess what? Premier Bandai announced his essay figure arts after the episode. If, if that ain't a blood moment, that's real. I don't know what it is. Yeah, then it's Saber. Not the best a comedy series. I don't hate it, but I'm not. I'm never talking about. I won't say never, but. There's no way I'm touching Saber ever again for a long time. Oh god, that show. I need alcohol. <laughs> so, uh, back I was saying is, uh, yeah, Kujo. I like what they did with him when he tried to figure out about Emu's past. Because he felt like a detective. And also, it's the fact that this guy had, had a backup plan the whole time after, uh, after he died, it's really cool. I like it. I freaking like it. <laughs> so Kujo, what do you think? My, one of my favorite characters. I like this guy, so I have no hate for him. <laughs> Moving on. Let's talk about Poppy. Uh, Poppy. Annoying. She's cute, though. I like her actress. But also, she's annoying and noxious. Annoying and noxious. Annoying and loud, okay? She's annoying and... Very loud, and I did not like her. I did not like her, pretty much. Yeah, I don't like Poppy. I can't explain. I only can say that. Only can say that. Uh, besides the fact that uh, they uh pretty much talk to talk, they pretty much talk her about her. Uh, only thing that they pretty much say that. Oh yeah, uh, this is the well, reason why her name is Poppy because of this, and why her. Ultra Ego, Asuna's name is Ditch, because, yeah, I know. I know. Even Hero said that the main reason why your name is Asuna and your human in your uh, disguise because, well, because, well, your video game and your buggers and your buggers are game as well. So, yeah. And also, her freaking, um, her freaking, like, uh, how can I say this? Her freaking, uh, Gag moment? Uh, uh, I didn't like it. They're trying too hard. She gave me the same vibe of, a, of an annoying anime girl. I'm like, yeah, no, don't try too hard. Don't, don't try too hard. Also, to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of her suit, of her camera suit. That suit, not the bad, not the worst camera suit. But, I'm going to say, I'm going to say the. I'm gonna say this the nicest way ever. There's no reason for her to be a common writer. Simple as that. That's just my opinion right there. So moving her out of the way, let's talk about uh let's talk about uh well should I talk about her? Alright. Look at the females out of the way. Let's talk about Nico. Nico's cool. First again, first time I watched the show, she was annoying. I didn't like her. Because, well, she got me very mad, I can say. But, uh, second rewatch? She got my good side. I don't hate her now. I used to. But now I don't hate her. I do think she get way too much hate, just like Akiko from Double. And that's, and that's, I want to say that Akiko isn't a bad character. But people, but people hate on her a lot. And Akiko isn't even a bad character in the first place. Just want to clarify that. So, uh, yeah. Nico, pretty cool. I like her. Simple as that. Her actress is cute. Her actress is very cute. So, <laughs> cute, pretty much. No, don't know why I say very, but okay, whatever. So, uh, let's talk about Potter, though. I like Potter, though. Funny enough. First time of the show, he I didn't care for it, but it's like after my second time rewatching it, after my second rewatch last year, I like him. A lot of the Paul is like one of my favorite characters. Uh I like him and Graphite. Their relationship was pretty cool. I like that bromance. There were time there were times that they treat each other they treat each other like brothers. That's pretty cool. I like it. 
<laughs> I love part of those suits. Not gonna lie, perfect knockout. Probably my my favorite. Probably perfect knockout right next to uh, perfect puzzle. I like knockout fighters as well, but like perfect knockout, and perfect puzzle, probably my two favorite ones out of all three of them. Also, Fray, I want to say this. I want to say this. The foreshadowing that the show tried way too hard on for Emu and Potato. I'm like, yeah. How can how did I not notice that on my first watch? My first watch the show. Okay, there's a dog barking out there. Uh, yeah. How did I not notice my first watch through of the show that uh, Emu and Potato are basically the same person? Also. I want you to look at a picture of Mighty Action, a Mighty uh, Action Gamer level. Mighty, look at Emu's base form, okay, level two form, and look at Potato's a uh, freaking uh, knockout fighter form. This was pointed out to me last night by when I watched one podcast, but uh, the eyes are very similar, and that if that ain't a foreshadow, then I don't know what is. And also, is it like is it like very curious? It's like very curious how the uh, Potato also said maximum dihension, just like Emu. Just saying, just saying. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, probably Potato. I like Potato. Don't hate him. I want his SHF. Yeah. I'm going to get my hands on that eventually, eventually. So I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a very. I'm not in a hurry to get that. So yeah. <laughs> Again, then I just bought. I just bought a uh, Hirobi today. So yeah. So Potato, I like Potato. Pretty much Potato way cooler than Emu. I'm sorry, he is. Also, Potato has a cool theme song called Perfect Knockout. Yeah. Wait, what's it called? Perfect Knockout? Not Perfect Knockout, it was called something else. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Don't copy. What the heck? The XA soundtrack. Oh, that's just great. Now it's showing on you. Okay. <sighs> Wait, God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, Pazzo has, Pazzo has one of the best songs in the show. And I love it. So, uh, so, uh, let's go and talk about, uh, his best friend. One of the most underrated characters in x simple as that, and probably the best villain, the best villain well-written in the show. Let's talk about Graphite. I like Graphite. In hot take, Graphite, Graphite's pretty much the best villain in the show. And when I mean best villain... I mean, he's pretty much the best well-written villain in the show. I like him, and I like and I like the writing that he has with B for with uh Snipe and Brave. More with Snipe than Brave, but still, I liked it. And also, I was like heartbroken a little bit when he died when he said when he said that Pardo and and Poopy were his friends. Like, damn, damn. My man, my man in the power of friendship, and he, and he, he freaking died. I like him. <laughs> I like him. Graphite, hella underrated. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this now for a little hot take. Graphite should have been the main villain of X Aid. Just saying, and not Kronos. That's all I'm gonna say. So let's talk about uh who the hell who the hell I talk about my fake kid. Oh yeah okay let's talk about the man himself. Uh, Dan Kuroto. I want to say that I have no hate for the actor. I like the actor by the way, and also I want to say that his actor is really cool. His, his actor is awesome. Very talented guy. Nice guy as well. Well, nice guy as well. And also, I want to say, his act, uh, Dan Kuroto's guest actor, is a, do- is, Dan's actor is a, actually a doctor. 
funny enough. Ironically, right? A TV show talk about doctors, and yet he's after that. He is the doctor, funny enough. <laughs> and apparently, Tony let Tony let his actor go. Tony let Tony let his actor do whatever the heck, whatever the heck he want with Dan Carotto's character, and you can honestly tell they did. I like his actor, and <laughs> his, and I did and I did enjoy that a little bit, a little. But I want to say this. Uh, I don't like Gem. His character was his. Uh, I like in the beginning how yeah he was like this mysterious person in the first in the first chapter X A before the Comrade Chronicle arc hap, saga chapter happened. He was mysterious and like the whole mysterious between who the heck is the Black X A, <laughs> who the heck is the other X A. I wonder who it is. It could be anyone. And then, and then he revealed himself to everyone else. Like, oh, yay! Oh, great! That's just, that's just wonderful. And uh, after he lost, yeah, uh, he he's annoying. He he's not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After that big after after he showed the big after the big freaking reveal reveal. Oh, Gem showing everyone who the heck he is. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't a good kid after that. Like after that last after that episode when everyone when everyone when he being revealed who the heck is Gem or the black or the Koto Xa. But we not know Koto means black. But yeah, yeah, he stopped being a good kid after that. And he just got on my nerves by going by trying way too hard. Again, then I'm, I'm not blaming the actor. No, I like Gem's actor. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say this. Someone should have told the guy that someone should have told the guy to relax or do not overdo it because there are literally times in the show, yeah, he overdo it and it was not. And it is not, it is not a good thing. I can say. <laughs> also, I love Gem suit. So simple as that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're thinking about Gem. Final thoughts. Don't like Gem. He can't have ruin after after the big reveal. Or who the heck is the other X A? Simple as that. So I'm talking about his dad. Ah, uh, his dad. Okay. Hold on. I want to say it. Before I talk about his dad, I want to make this. For, I want to say this. For those that like to say that uh, Gam can beat Omazio, please do me a favor. Explain to me how the heck a guy who pretty much totally favoritism, meme lord, can beat the fuzz of a guy who had the power of every spandex Heisei warrior. Because, new flat, Gem, <laughs> new flat, Gem can't beat Oma. Just want to say that. Gem can't beat Oma. Simple as that. But, but he can't. No, he can't. I have my facts and statement to prove that he can. It's not like I watched Zio three freaking times. Again, I said enough. I remember everything about that show. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, I just want to get out of the way because it's just pointless, you can say. I know what's pointless to bring. What's pointless to uh, bring that up? But hey, it's whatever. So uh, let's talk about Gem's dad. I do not. I do not like Kronos. I mean, I liked. I liked the singer, and I love the fact that he sang own. Okay, I'll forget. And I love the fact that he sang his own theme song, Justice. I like that. But uh, yeah. Uh, after he lost to Emu, he became a. He became annoying. I mean, like. He became very annoying, and he got on my nerves. And, oh my god. 
And I thought Gen was annoying after after the big reveal drop. After the show dropped his big reveal, who the heck he was to the others. His dad is three times worse. <laughs> My God, he's so stupid. Oh, well, I would say stupid. He's annoying. Oh my goodness. Talk about, this is my game. I cannot lose this game. I'm like, dude, shut up. You lost. You cried the big baby, and you technically reverse time. Like, wh why? Why did he reverse time? Because time travel. We don't know. Like, honestly, how many times will Kamurai do time travel? Jesus freaking Christ. And Zio wasn't even a thing in 2016. That's the thing about, that's the funny thing about this. Honestly, the day when we review Zio will be will be will be that day because oh boy, Zio <laughs> Zio, that show is something else. That's for sure. <laughs> so back on saying Yeah, but, not part of it. Kronos <sighs> He's annoying, and people like, and people like to say that, and people like to say that Gold Driver is more annoying than Kronos. I'm like, no, Kronos is way more worse. I'm sorry, I gotta disagree. Kronos is way more worse and more annoying. At least Gold Drive had a plan about about what the heck he wanted to do. What's Kronos? What the heck is Kronos? What the freak? In fact, is Kronos' plan for the show? For being the final villain. Oh, okay. He definitely wants to start video game international. Oh, that's great. Okay, I guess. But yeah, <sighs> boy, I'm gonna say it's the nicest way ever. People like to trash on. People like to criticize Evo for being annoying, being like, being a freaking cockroach and all that. I'm like, you say that about Evo. But yet, Kronos did it first, and he is an annoying cockroach. He ain't even, he, he even a good villain. After Emma whooped his butt, he just became a whiny brat. Just like his son. What am I saying? Like father like son. And his whole time power. That's stupid. That's just stupid. Simple as that. That's just stupid. That's it. That's just stupid. First time watching the show, I did like him because like, okay, okay, this motherfucker, this motherfucker was threatening and torturing my boy Pato though. Because well, because well, Pato did deserve that. But uh, yeah, when Mateka came in, he got his butt whoop. <laughs> but again, then Mateka, Mateka did got nerfed a little bit, so I can't be mad about that. <laughs> oh yeah, did no, Mateka got nerfed a little bit in the show. Uh, what was it? What was it? Episode 43? Yeah. Episode 43, when, uh, Emu, Hero, and Taiga were fighting Kronos, who was in a, re a Game of Days repaint. Not know why they repainted that, but okay. Probably for Premier Bandai. Ironically, they did that <laughs> when, when that form, when that form was shown, when that form was shown. Was shown in the show. They released down premium Bandai. <laughs> Not surprised. Again, then that form is on Total Collectibles. No one's buying that because, well, who the who the heck wants a Kronos figure? Well, I do. I do want I do want a Kronos figure, but yeah, at the same time, I don't I don't like, I don't like the character. Love the suit, but I hate the character. But uh, in that episode. He was clapping Hero, Brave, and Emu a little bit. I'm like, how the heck is he keeping up with Mateki? I just, I just want to know that. How the heck is he keeping up with Mateki? Someone asked me, where's your proof? It's in the first fight of that first episode. Just want to, just want to say that. <sighs> also, that's the same episode when, when he kidnapped Nico. And Nico almost turned to Kronos herself. The good thing she did it, because Tiger did. But uh, yeah, Kronos, I don't like him. He's pretty much Evo, but yet, 
At least Eva has a personality and a charm. Bias aside, because I love Bill and all that. At least freaking Eva has a personality and a charm for him being a well, for well, for him being a freaking, a freaking douche. But uh, yeah. <sighs> but uh, yeah, <sighs> Kronos don't don't like Kronos. He ain't a good villain. So get him out of the way. Oh yeah, forgot. They, they, forgot that one more person. This this one more person we gotta talk about. This one more person we gotta talk about. Heels dad. He was cool. He had his moment. He was actually he was, he was actually very uh very serious when he talked to his son about so about about Saki. I like that. I like that. But the, I got the I talked about character, but let's talk about my my main criticism of the show. What the heck is the plot to X A? Pretty much the sum of pretty much the sum of the summing up like this. The whole plot of X8 is Gam releasing the Y two K the Y two K virus on everyone. On every on everyone pretty much. Also, the fact that they referenced that in the show, like, okay. Again, then it's understandable because it's understandable because that virus happened in early two thousand, but like, why bring, like, why talk about it in the show and yet, and yet, just drop it later? What? <clears throat> that made no sense. Speaking of no sense, uh, from the subs that I was watching. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, from the subs that I was watching, it said at the beginning of the show that that zero day happened six years ago, right? Okay, uh, later down the second half, when after Apollo announced that he Emmy Buggers her, the show said the show tried to retcon itself by saying it took place five years ago. I'm like, five years ago? You mean six years ago? Why are you trying to wreck kind of your own logic? Again, then you are Takahashi, but still, I don't even blame. I, think I do blame him, but like, why are you trying to wreck kind of your own logic and or the freaking backstory? I won't say origin, but backstory. I, I don't know because honestly, that was pretty stupid. That, it really was stupid because. What was the point of that in the first play? You said the first half. It said the first half said that this event take place six years ago. Second half, five years ago. Which one is it? Which one is it? Please tell me. I'm listening. Oh, what? You don't know either. Neither do I. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, does that actually actually plot is pretty bad. <laughs> pretty much to sum up the plot X A in a nutshell, Gam being a man child and get everyone the virus because he cannot because he cannot take constructive criticism. Nice one by the way. That's pretty much the main plot X A. All because a little kid version of Emma gave him criticism on a game that that he wanted Gem to make. Simple as that. <sighs> so anyway, let's talk about the pacing of the show. I don't know. The plot is garbage. Simple as that. Okay? I say plot is just crap. <laughs> that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. So let's talk about uh. So uh, let's talk about freaking uh. Let's talk about the pacing. 
The pacing is the pacing is good. <laughs> no, because I hate it how I hate it. I hate it how the how they had like two freaking episodes of this one tension conflict happening. Next episode, they drop it just pretend it never happened. Like what? What? Really? So we gonna talk? So we gonna talk about how yet yeah, this thing just happened? And next episode, y'all just drop it and just go back and being friends or whatever. I'm like what? 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 Why? What? Why? You were Takahashi. What were you thinking? What? What were you thinking? Ay, ay, ay. I had no idea what the heck he was thinking because that was, well, pretty dumb. It was, it was really pretty dumb. Just, just saying. Also, I want to say that when uh when Kono told Emma, oh yeah, I guess what your friend Nika had the gamer day virus, and the only way to cure her is for you to kill Perfect Knockout. Guess what Emma did in his guess what Emma and his dumbass did. He beat the crap out of Potter though, almost killed him, and uh say Nico, yes, but. After that tension, after that episode, next episode, everything back to normal, and, and now Pado's a good guy. That's not how you do a TV show. <laughs> like, okay, perfect example. Let's compare you are talking. Let's compare you are talking Hashi. You are talking Hashi's work to another comedy season, Zero One. Since he also well, since he also did that season as well. The conflict between. Hirobi and Adato to like what? Four or five of the last final episodes of Zero One? The conflict between Emu and Ponado took like two episodes. The conflict effect for Emu and Ponado when Emu almost killed Ponado took place in one whole episode. Matter of fact, no, two whole episodes. My bad. <laughs> two whole episodes. And the next episode, they just drop in and just went on being Kronos. Like, really? Just really? The pacing so the pacing super fast. Why can't the pacing not be like okay? I don't freaking know. Let's use uh, I can't even go and say this, but uh, let's use Lupat for example. I know, right? Lupat. Lupin's pacing isn't the best, but yeah, it was fine for what it is. Why couldn't X8 be like Lupin's pacing? Honestly, I don't know what the heck would happen in 2016 for Toby, but like... But yeah, the pacing is super fast, and yet... At times, at time, that just ruins... Oh, not at time. It just ruins... It just ruins the show, and the characters, and... About the actual characters, <laughs> and what I mean by that is this: I didn't like it how uh, they had a betrayal arc, right? That was super fast in the show. But yeah, it was so pointless in the first place. But at the same time, that just ruin. That just like ruin. That just like how can I say this? Okay. That just ruins a character form of. I want to say character. Fuck. That just ruins. That just ruins like Brave's character for me. Like, what was the point of having that in the show? Oh, it's okay. It's supposed to be this big betrayal arc happening. Will he come back to the good side or will he be on the bad side? Hey, freaking Valkyrie. At least okay. I'm gonna use zero one. I'm gonna use zero one as an example. Again, then Zero One treated Valkyrie like crap, but uh, at least for Zero One, Valkyrie betrayal arc was. I'm gonna say that wasn't the best. No, somewhat good we can say. I guess that's gonna sound pretty bad, but uh, yeah. But yeah, somewhat good. But yeah, it took like what five or six episodes zero one for her, for her freaking betrayal arc to end. 
Z- not zero one. It took like, it took like actually like what four episodes. And fast paced and just ruined it. Just ruined the show for it. It it ruined the moment too. Simple as that. That I was trying to say the whole time. Again, then again, I have no idea what the heck was happening in 2016 when X Age was well airing in Japan. <laughs> so uh, I want to say this: it was kind of pointless for Poppy to die. I know, I know, I know. It was supposed to be a tense, serious moment, but at the same time. Uh, yeah, it was kind of pointless for her to die since, like, technically Dan said that the whole time, technically since Dan said that, uh, said that, uh, he grabbed a little bit, he, he grabbed a little bit of Poppy Buggers or Poppy, uh, Digital Code, and, uh, and, uh, he, he, he somewhat reprogrammed her, brought her back together, made her brand new, like, okay, so what was the point of her dying then? <laughs> What was the point of her dying then? Gan then, when freaking Gan then turns out the whole time, Paladol said to Graphite, Oh yeah, Gan then, no, that uh, the whole time I could have brought you back. But, uh, hey, hey, uh, Gan then, listen, I'm like, so you're telling me the whole time Graphite, sh- Graphite wasn't dead? He could have been brought back? What the frick is that writing? Yo, and this made. <laughs> And this made Dragon Ball Z look innocent. And that's coming that come from me. I love Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> what was the point? Of, what was the point of them dying then? Oh, it was supposed to be an emotional heart moment. No, it was it was fast pacing. It wasn't that good. <laughs> it wasn't that good. <laughs> Simple as that. Freaking Bill. Okay. Bias aside. I want to say it. Bias aside. When 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 Gentoku and Kazumi and Kazumi sacrificed himself for the country and saved the world, it took like what two freaking ep- two different separate episodes for them to sacrifice themselves and save and, and fight in the final battles. At least those two episodes gave us time to feel remorse for both of them. Exade. One freaking episode, and yeah, pretty much Puppy died. And next episode, uh, yeah, uh, Emma and other man defeat Chronos. Guess what? End the episode. Puppy, Puppy came back to life. Apparently, he come out. Said no one, no buggers are in this show can stay dead. <laughs> no buggers are in X can stay dead. Simple as that. I honestly don't know why. And the ending, oh, 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 I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. The final battle isn't that. The final battle between uh, Emu and uh, Kronos and everyone else isn't that good. I mean, beginning, first time watching it, I liked it, but like, after watching it for third time, yeah, it wasn't that good. And I, and I, don't get me started on the theme song. I hate that theme song now, dude. Due to me, wait. Due to me rewatching that show. Now, for real though, because of that, I went on my phone, went under my music app, and went on my music app, and uh, I deleted Exercise because the show ruined that song for me. <sighs> yeah, the final battle wasn't good. Like, I don't know. I like the visuals, but like under that. I think it. I think it gets overhyped. <sighs> so, what can I say about X Day as a show? The plot isn't good. The logic between the logic between a bug guns and staying dead is pretty much BS because well, they can't stay dead. Like for real though, please tell me. Besides Graphite, name me another Bugazer that's dead that not came back to life. Because guess what? Every Bugazer besides Graphite came back to life. Lovica, that that freaking uh that freaking uh Bugazer president who was a Gemcor who's being creepy toward Nico who said that oh, I love you, that guy. They don't like him, he's creepy. 
he came back he came back to life apparently in the freaking Gam vs. Dowser Part Two special. Not know why, but again then I again then again then to again then totally said milking X Aid in zero one, so mostly X Aid, but still. Kronos came back in the Gam part Gam part two uh I'll say part two. <laughs> Krona came back in part two of the President Special. Kuroto came back many times because well he can't stay freaking dead. And last time if I remember, if I can remember, if I can remember, uh Kuch, uh Lasher defeated him in the V Cinema. And apparently Gamut brought back to life here. While fighting Dowser for one, for a weird reason. Again, then Yuya Takahashi will vote for both those characters in the show. That's pretty much the only reason why that special is a thing. Same thing for the Ghost and Saber and Blaze and uh, Spectre. Simple as that. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it right there. So what I so what I think. Uh Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think actually it's a good show because like the plot is garbage, hot garbage. And for those and for those and for those like to say that, oh, but you like Bill's plot. Bill's garbage Bill, Bill's plus garbage and hot crap. Listen. By the side, I know Bill's not a 10 out of 10. The show freaking logic and plot is complete other shit. I get that. But guess what? Guess what? At least Bill tries to be reasonable for the logic. At least at least the, at least the writers the writers are trying. X8, yeah no. <laughs> you Takahashi. Basically, one ran out of ideas for the final battle. Just like, okay, let me go, let, let me go write this and this down. And apparently, he wrote the whole entire show by himself. But I'm not surprised because <laughs> I'm not surprised he did. But still, yeah. Uh, Frank, we want to talk about that. X A. X A. What? Final, my final thoughts on X A. We watching this show for the third time. It had pros, it had some positive, but I have a lot more the show had a lot more negative with the pacing, the overall plot, the uh con the contradiction and reckoning of the well, the timeline for the main story itself. Annoying characters an ugly driver. Shall I keep going? I see. I can see why. Like, I can see why people like Exit. That's good. You can like it. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I said it in my Luke Perry review. I can see why people. I can see why people like this show. That's good for you. You can like it. But for me, yeah, I don't like. I don't like Exit. Just like. Just like how. Just like how I don't like Luke Pat. The show isn't good with the plot. The pacing is all over the place. The writing is not the best. The suits. Love the suit. Mateki, Mateki is overrated. As Mateki is an overrated suit. Let's get out of the way. But, uh, yeah. X8 isn't a good show, in my opinion. I don't like it. If the show, if you are talking Hashi, writing wasn't like, Fast pace for forty five episode forty five episode. Again, I have no idea what the heck. I have no idea why it's a forty five episode. But if you are Hashi took a straight time and get like someone to approve his writing, and not make it fast as possible, then I would like it. I would like Exe. But I don't. I don't like Exe because his writing wasn't. The writing wasn't that good for the show. Heck. Kiva, I, 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 I'm gonna say this by now. Sorry, I'm gonna say it. 
at least Kiva tries with the writing. Again, the Toshima Inoue is a questionable person. His writing isn't the best for Kamen Rider. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah. I don't like Kiva either. And don't worry, I'm, I'm going to talk about Kiva because... Cause that, cause that shitty show is gonna be the bane of my exist. My that shitty show is gonna be the bane, the vein of my existence. We'll say that, but that crappy show is going to get on my nerves when I go watch it one of these days. So overall, to, so overall, what did I say? X A isn't the best comedy season. It's not good. The pacing is horrible. Some characters are good. But others are bad. The plot is all over the place. The show, the show tried to wreck kind of itself with its own logic multiple times. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I gotta say about x -Aid. I'll give x a C. That, that's it. It's not a good show. So, I'll move that out of the way. The next review on this podcast... It's a Sentai. And this one's special. For, this one is very special for me for personal reason. I'll get on to next week. Well, next episode, not next week. Next episode, we are going. I'm going to talk about Machine Sentai Kira Major and why that show is very special to me. So I hope you guys like this podcast episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, post my. Post my uh post no post the notification buttons on from the next toy review or podcast episode. And yeah, my name is Boku and have a good night. See ya.